For this project, I'm going to show you how to use the Secrets of the Force to turn a handful of gummy bears into custom Star Wars gummies. To start this project, you'll need something to mold your gummies, and I'm using these Star Wars trays that my brother got me for Christmas. You should be able to find them online or at one of the novelty stores at your local shopping mall. The trays are silicone and actually designed for freezing ice cubes, but they work impressively well for making chocolates and gummy candies as well. Now all you need to start casting your clones is a big bag of gummy bears. So go ahead and dump the entire bag on the counter, because they'll all need to be sorted out in just a second. The cool thing about using gummy bears is that the candy is already made, so that means you don't have to worry about following a recipe or messing around with food coloring and flavoring. Instead, all you need to do is figure out a way to liquefy them so you can pour them into the molds. Get busy separating all the colors into different piles, and you'll probably end up with mountains of red, green, white, yellow, and orange, which in this case all seem to be fairly even. With the color sorted out, it's time to grab a microwave-safe container, like a glass measuring cup. Fill the container with as many same color gummy bears as you feel like, then simply put it in the center of the microwave and nuke it for around 10 to 15 seconds. If it needs a bit more than that, don't go longer than 10 seconds at a time because you'll end up making a really big mess on the inside. The syrup is ready when all the gummy bears have melted completely and the gummy goo is just runny enough that you can pour it, which is exactly what we're going to do next. Slowly and carefully pour the molten gummy goodness into the ice cube trays and try to resist the temptation to lick it or pour it in your mouth. It's really hot and will probably burn you, so be careful and use something like a spatula to catch the drips instead. These will need some time to cool, so while we're waiting, let's go ahead and melt down all the other gummy bears as well and fill up the rest of the molds the exact same way. When the trays are filled, give the syrup about half an hour to cool on the counter, then carefully move them to the fridge so they'll firm up as much as possible. They're going to take about 5 hours to fully set, but when they're finished, go ahead and pop the gummies out of the molds and take a good look at what you've created. You can see there's a fantastic amount of detail that gets captured in the candies, which is impressive considering how quick and simple they are to make. Now with more intricate molds like the Stormtrooper helmets, it might take a bit of stretching and prying to get the candies to come out, but you'll see that once they release, they quickly spring back into shape. Keep in mind that there's really no limit on how big you can make your candies either, so let your imagination run wild with that idea and see how far it takes you. Well now you know how to transform a bag of gummy bears into a tasty batch of colorful Star Wars gummies that you could randomly bust out at the next cosplay party or simply use to bribe your kids. By the way, if you don't want to spend money on big bags of gummy bears, there's a much cheaper option you can try instead. I use Jello, gelatin, and a bit of corn syrup to make mountains of colorful Lego gummies that look and taste just as good. Look for my recipe on how to make these in another project video. Well that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching to the end. If you like what I'm doing and want to support my videos, then look down in the description and click the link for audible.com slash thekingofrandom. If you haven't heard about Audible by now, then please let me be the one to enlighten you. Audible has the world's largest selection of premium audiobooks with over 180,000 different titles, which you can download and listen to on your iPhone, your iPad, Kindle, MP3 player, computer, or whatever else you use. In keeping with the theme of this video, I recommend you get Star Wars The Force Awakens, read by Mark Thompson. It's a bestseller with cool sound effects and background music, and you can download it for free by going to audible.com slash thekingofrandom and starting a 30-day free trial. If you don't want to get Star Wars, then get something else. Audible has hundreds of thousands of audiobooks to choose from, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. And if you get an audiobook you don't like, it's no problem. You can exchange it for a different one anytime you want with no questions asked. Use the link in the description or make sure to use audible.com slash thekingofrandom because it lets them know you came from my video and that's what helps support me in my future projects. Thanks again and I will see you in the next project video. Talk to you then.